This is code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools unit. I'm on Lesson 9, Permanent Data Storage, Puzzle 11. Save your contacts in the cloud. Woohoo! Now that you know how to save an object to the database, you can make your contacts app save things permanently. Contacts app we were doing in Lesson 8. So if you're confused or stuck, you, you need to go do that lesson. Uh, watch my tutorials if you don't know how. <laughs> right now, you'll add the ability for the app to save contacts to the database. Cool. In the next lesson, you'll learn how to pull data from the database back into your app. Perfect. So we'll save it up to the cloud. We can restart the app and still have it all there. The contacts app you created in the previous lesson is provided. Drag and create the block, the create record block, into the event handler code for the create contact button and add it as the last line of the function, okay? Set the, set the first parameter to be, dis, to be a descriptive table name like my contacts. Set the second parameter to the object you created for the new contact. In the example, the variable is called new contact. Run the app and add a new contact. In the data viewer, confirm a new table was created and that it contains the contact you created. All right, so let's go over to code. And then this is my app that I made, right? So if you're not seeing this, lesson eight, lesson eight. All right, and then we're adding create contact. So save contact button is what I called mine. Yes, okay. So. I need to add, I need to add the event handler, maybe a bit easier to read like this. Oh, I should add. All right, event handler into this one. Yep. So I called mine saves contacts. Let me find the create record. Okay, create record. Um, descriptive name of your table, my contact, sounds like a good plan to me. Set the second parameter to the object you created for the new code. The object I created is new contact. So the second parameter, whoops, control Z to undo that because I just need to delete this, is going to be new contact. And what that is, is the information we input, right, for a new contact from lesson eight. Awesome. All right. So I think that's. Is that all I need? First parameter to be descriptive, my contacts. Set the second parameter to create an object. You. Yep. So we're not putting anything inside it. Nope, they just have a council log. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Run. My new contact is going to be Bob. Phone number is going to be this. Birthday is going to be 555. Five, five. No. None.org. Eh. Save. Perfect. Perfect. And then let's go over here to data. And then let's go over here to data. Perfect, Bob. Great. So now we can save it. Retrieval is going to be our next step. All right, I think that's, yep, let's keep going. 